Hi, I'm Sherry Gable, and today we're going to work on how to pace out your distances for a gymnastic jumping and then moving on to courses for your horse and how the horse's stride relates to your jumping distances. We're first going to start by remembering that most jumping courses are set with the idea that your horse's stride is 12 feet long, give or take, average stride is 12 feet long, and the distances between the fences are going to be aided if you can try and create that stride in yourself. So when we're measuring for our own steps so that we can walk our distances, my technique with the help today of Caitlin is going to be to show you how we do it by learning how to develop our step so that we can do a 12 foot horse stride with four of our three foot strides. A little math involved. So we're going to use this 12 foot pole and I want to fit, and then Caitlin's going to do it, I want to fit four three foot steps of my own equals one horse stride. One, two, three, four. So I've been doing this a very, very long time, so it comes fairly natural to me. Caitlin's a little newer and she has a lot longer legs than I have. So she's gonna try it casually, just walking her step just to see how close she gets. So just casually walk four steps. So she is a little short, so she's gonna stretch it out a little bit. She might get it. She might have to do it a couple more times. Start with your heel at the end of the rail. Awesome, that was good, that was good. She's practiced a little bit. So that was really good. So if you just go back and forth and back and forth, we tend to always start with one, I always start left foot, no reason, just do. And I think a lot of people make that first step longer without meaning to. And you just wanna sort of figure out what your comfort is just by repetition. Just do it and do it and do it. So one more time. Feel your, how much you have to stretch to get the job. Oh, <laughs> you're a little overstretched that time. That's good. So when you think you've nailed it and, but, and you want to graduate away from the pole, I would stay near the pole as a marker, maybe a little off, off the edge of it. Close your eyes and try and do it and see how close you get. And then you feel what your stride looks, your, your stride measures. Try that. Close your eyes. <laughs> Yeah, your first three steps might have been a little big, but not too bad. One more time, eyes closed. You got it. So that's where, that's where we start. And just developing your own stride. Some people have longer legs, shorter legs. Do what works for you. But if you can get used to having for yourself that four steps, three foot each, equals one horse stride. So we're going to start with that. So our gymnastic line today consists of the three trot poles to an, an, X vert, an X cross rail, to a small vertical, to a small oxer. We started with the three trot poles to set the rhythm and to keep the horse in the trot as he enters the grid. And if you use fewer trot poles, you may risk that you lose the rhythm. They may jump the poles. You can use four poles instead of three if you choose to, if your horse needs the help staying in the trot, keeping the rhythm. So we've set this for an average to larger horse, and it's set at four and a half feet from pole to pole, and then the equal distance, four and a half feet from pole to pole. Then we double the distance from the last trot pole to the first jump, the cross rail, so that's a nine foot distance. And now we've trotted in and we want to create a one stride as you trot into the jump. The horse isn't going quite as forward. So the stride is only going to be set at an 18 foot. So this is where they would land. One, two, three, four. This is where they would take off from. And we give them some takeoff room. So that equals our 12 foot canter stride plus our 18 foot total. So now we're coming in at the canter, so the 18 foot would be too short. So now we're going to do a 21 foot distance from our vertical to our oxer.
and we've conquered 21 feet there. So that gives the horse room to land a little bit further out from the vertical because now they're cantering in. They take their 12 foot stride and then they have a little bit of room to jump out over the oxer. And we've completed our grid. Now we're gonna use our three foot step that we developed when we did the long 12 foot pole and we were practicing developing that step and feeling how conservative you need to be if you have long legs or if you don't have long legs, how much you need to stretch. So we're setting up trotting poles as the entry to a gymnastic line. And our trotting poles are today gonna to be set for a 17 hand thoroughbred horse. And he, um, we want him to stay nicely forward so we're not trying to trick him. The average trotting pole distance can be anywhere from three feet to five feet, depending on the size of your horse. Today we're gonna to do them at four and a half feet leading into our gymnastic line. So when I set them up, don't ever be afraid to pull out a tape measure and double check yourself. But when I set them up, I'm gonna take my three foot step and leave about a foot and a half and then make sure that the distance from one to the second pole, the second pole, the third pole is the same. So I'll take my three foot step and have the same distance left over. Then the next thing we're gonna end up doing is making sure that we double the distance between the poles from the last pole to the first element of the gymnastic line. We're gonna make sure that if that was four and a half feet, this is gonna be nine feet, and it happens to be. So we've set up our trot poles at four and a half feet in between, three different trot poles, and then doubled that distance. We got nine feet to the cross rail. We walked that distance. So we're trotting in. So this influences our theory of the, that we set our distances based on the 12 foot stride like we talked about earlier. So with that thought in mind, we have set up here a one stride of a cross rail X jump to a small vertical. And what we wanna do is we wanna leave room for the horse to land, they're trotting in, that, that's influential. We wanna leave room for them to land, take one stride, and we need a little room for the takeoff. So this is set at 18 feet, trotting in. So we'll measure it. At 18 feet, six steps. If you wanna be really accurate, you can measure the outside standard, jump standard, to the outside jump standard and the inside jump standard to the inside jump standard, not only center to center. And that way you make sure that the jumps are parallel to each other and not askew. So the horse is gonna be trotting in. He'll land about three feet into the distance, take his 12 foot canter stride, and then take off about three feet in front of the small vertical. So we've walked that, we've double checked that based on our 12 foot canter stride. Now we are in the canter, so it's a little different from coming in at the trot. So now we're going to canter this vertical and we have a 21 foot distance to the oxer. So we're gonna make sure that's 21 feet. That was our plan. So our distance from the vertical to the oxer at the end of our gymnastic line is 21 feet different from the 18 feet when you trot in. So we've developed the canter. So now we're cantering this distance to the oxer. 21 feet is gonna depend a lot on your horse's stride. If you, if you have, and the height of the jumps, if you have a large horse, you may wanna lengthen it out so they don't feel trapped. If you have a smaller horse, you may wanna bring it in so they don't lose their confidence, get long and flat. But 21 feet is a fairly comfortable middle ground uh, canter stride in a gymnastic line. That's different from your 12 foot stride when you're out on a course and you're cantering in your jumping quality canter and we're doing course work and we'll get to that on our next time.